another sequence in a drama that has been casting a cloud over Donald Trump's presidency since he took charge of the White House in January 2017. A more than a year-long federal probe into the alleged meddling by Russia in the 2016 U.S. presidential election has now taken a fresh turn. For the first time, one of the people charged in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation has stood trial. Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, accused of hiding over $60 million income made in Ukraine, now faces 18 criminal tax and fraud counts. The case against Manafort does not involve Trump, but it could put another dent in the Trump administration's credibility already damaged by a whole range of issues. Well, this is the first of two trials uh, concerning Paul Manafort. The second one will open in Washington, D.C. in September. The second one, I think, is more focused on him acting as a uh, unregistered foreign agent and agent of influence during the campaign. During the first day of what is expected to be a three-week trial, prosecutors called Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, a shrewd liar. They alleged that Manafort orchestrated a global scheme to avoid paying taxes on millions of dollars. To do so, prosecutors claimed that Manafort used dozens of his bank accounts in three foreign countries to create sham loans and collect untaxed income he spent on luxury goods. Uh. So what they are establishing here are the financial networks, many of them going through um, secret accounts in Cyprus that allowed Manafort to channel a lot of uh, funds uh, from his contacts in Ukraine. Manafort has denied all charges, but he faces a maximum sentence of 305 years in prison if found guilty. Trump, in a series of tweets, described the case as a phony dossier against his former campaign chairman. Paul Manafort's longtime deputy, Rick Gates, is one of the people who agreed to testify before the 12 members of the jury. Gates pleaded guilty to a conspiracy charge and lying to federal investigators in February. He was President Donald Trump's campaign chairman under Manafort and after Manafort was forced out in August 2016. Sorry. What happened yesterday, of course, uh, is that uh, Manafort's defense lawyer began by attacking his associate, uh, Mr. Gates, uh, who was his assistant for many years in these operations, um, attacking his credibility and basically arguing that Gates was the uh, primary uh, person involved in all of these criminal activities and hiding this overseas income from the tax authorities and so forth and so on. So they tried to put Gates on trial yesterday. Uh, that's what the defense strategy was. Special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation has pitted the two people in the Trump campaign against each other, a move that the New York Times believes will only draw more attention to the probe that Trump has repeatedly criticized as a witch hunt.